you had a problem with your foot, you wouldn't go see an oncologist. If you had cancer, you wouldn't go to a podiatrist. The same is true with any service professional. You want to find someone who specializes in the problem that you have. That's exactly what we're going to cover on this week's episode of Ask Kif. Hi, I'm Kiffany Staley, founder of The Artist JD, a place designed to add ease to the legalese of running your creative business. This week's question comes to us from Brooks Ann in North Carolina. She asks, how can I find an attorney for my creative biz in my state? The short version, you're going to look like you look for any other service professional. You're going to find someone you know, like, and trust, and how you're going to likely find that person is your network. So what do I mean by this? Well, your network is a great place to start to find an attorney for your creative business. You've probably got businesses that you support that are local brick and mortars. Brick and mortar locations are far more likely to need an attorney quicker than an online only business or a small creative business. And that's because they've got employees, they've got spaces that they're renting, they've got all kinds of requirements that mean that they're more likely to establish a relationship with an attorney sooner. So that coffee shop you go to every single morning to grab your coffee, next time you see the owner say, hey, do you have an attorney that you love? and they might be able to point you in the right direction. If that doesn't work, you're probably a member of Facebook groups, a member of other kind of groups where you can ask your community and ask your network, hey, do you have somebody you love? As a little plug, in my membership community, the Artist Courtyard, we've got business owners just like you in lots of different states that can point you in the direction out of an attorney that they've worked with previously that might be the right fit for your creative business. So what if you strike out with your network? If you ask those brick and mortar businesses, if you ask in Facebook groups and you maybe find someone that you don't necessarily jive with or you don't really find anybody, then there's a couple other places that you might look. The first place is to find out if your state has a nonprofit that's called a Volunteer Lawyer for the Arts Organization. I'm going to go ahead and in the show notes give you the link to all of the various states and the VLAs that occur in those states. So that's another great place to start your search of finding an attorney for your creative business. And then if you can't find one in either of those two places, then you're just going to have to turn to Google and see ask for attorneys who specialize in maybe working with a creative business, maybe working with writers, maybe working with photographers, whatever it is that you do. Brooks Ann was totally on the right track when she asked it where she could find someone that's in her state. The reason you want to ask this is lawyers are licensed on a state by state basis. I I'm a practicing attorney and I am licensed by the state of California to practice law. A lot of attorneys have different rules around if they'll work with someone who is in a different state or not. My flat rule is unless you are a California based business or you are in a dispute with a California based business, even if you're looking for help of copyright or trademark variety, I don't assist you. There are other attorneys, however, when it comes to things like intellectual property, when it comes to copyrights and trademarks, they will help anyone in any state because that's federal law. Um, and so that's the same no matter where you live. But especially if we're talking about things like contracts, if we're talking about things like LLCs, if we're talking about those kinds of things that change, the laws change on a state by state basis, it's best to have someone located in your state so that they really know the laws of your state. Now, hopefully your research, either from your network, from the Volunteer Lawyers for the Arts Organization, or from your Google search, has resulted in a couple people that potentially could be attorneys for your business. Once you're at this point, you're going to interview them just like you would interview someone that you're hiring to be your social media manager, that you're hiring to be your VA, that you're hiring to be your graphic designer. You're going to want to interview these people to make sure they know and understand you and your business and that you are going to like to talk to them a lot because you talk to your attorney quite frequently. So you're going to ask them questions like, what kinds of clients do you serve? What kinds of things do you do for your clients? And then the really important one, what kinds of things do you, will you refer me to talk to another attorney about? 
So in my practice, I don't do any employment law. I always am gonna refer someone to an employment lawyer specialist because especially since I live in California, California has tons of crazy employment laws. And so I want someone who specializes employment law to help my clients with those things. Even though I do copyright and trademark, I don't do patents. And so I would refer my clients to someone who specializes in patents. So interview those attorneys and maybe they only do a very small area. Maybe they only handle the intellectual property piece and you're going to have to go to someone else for some all the other things that you need. And so making sure that you find someone that can handle kind of the broad range of questions that are most likely to come up and you'll know when you're going to have to talk to somebody else. So that's the sum of it. You're going to find an attorney who works with creative businesses like yours. Ideally, there's someone in your state and there's someone that you know, like, and trust and want to spend significant amount of time talking to because that's what happens when you have an attorney client relationship. So hopefully those resources help you find an attorney. Got a question you want me to cover in an upcoming episode? Make sure you leave it in the comments below. Before you go, if you're thinking LegalZoom might be a better solution than hiring an attorney, make sure you check out the video I've linked to over there. It talks about when you can use LegalZoom and when you might want to stay away from LegalZoom. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button, make sure you subscribe so that you can get notified each time a new episode drops. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.